When the Minnesota Vikings signed former Bills and a standout defensive tackle, hopefully I can get my language together today. I was, uh, Harrison Phillips, that is, I was a little hesitant. I, I'm not going to lie. I was a little scared because I felt like he was uh, kind of one of those players that uh, was kind of a diet version of Michael Pierce, uh, you know, uh, a former standout at Stanford, uh, turned NFL, really did some good things uh, with the Bills, uh, you know, like we mentioned. I mean, like this was a guy that, you know, was solid in the run game. You know, didn't have more than one, uh, didn't have more than a sack in his entire, uh, in one season, that is, in his entire Bills career. So I was like, okay, maybe just mainly a run stuffer, a guy that, you know, uh, yeah, he can get after it at certain points, but, you know, the Vikings need an interior pass rusher. I can say with certainty that Harrison Phillips was just what the Minnesota Vikings ordered, especially when they signed him to that three-year deal, uh, you know, earlier in the offseason. And I got to admit, I got to admit, I was wrong. Uh, that's one thing I will learn to do. Uh, and I have, I feel like I've learned to do, but I will continue to learn to do, is that I will admit when I'm wrong. Uh, and to be honest with you, Harrison Phillips has been kind of a surprise out of camp. And, and you can honestly call that, it, see it for what you want. But, you know, when he signed that three-year, $19.5 million deal, I'm thinking, okay, you know what? He is going to be a player that, um, you know, comes in, is going to be that, uh, supposed to be, I don't want to say a replacement for Michael Pierce, but pretty close. Um, and by the way, you know, uh, his average salary was about six and a half million. Signing bonus was $7 million in that, in that contract. $8.45 million was guaranteed uh, at signing. So, uh, you know, in total guarantees, I think he had like something like $12.9 million out of that 19. Um, and he's still in his prime. He's 26 years, uh, years old right now. So I do think that he is a guy that honestly... <sighs> From what he displayed from yesterday, the Vikings got some major, major stealing. Uh, they got a major steal, I should say. Let's put it that way. They got a major steal for what uh, they got uh, in a guy like Harrison Phillips. Um, and we'll show you in just a second a couple of game clips here. Uh, but like we touched on, had not had a sack um, in much, uh, in, in, had not had more than just one sack in a single season out through his entire NFL career. But watch this. One of his first series with the Vikings. I said one of uh, his first series. I don't know if it was his first, but you know, you take a look right here. I'm actually going gonna, gonna to rewind. So he got his first. Obviously, you guys can read. Um, but, you know, we're going to play the first couple of seconds here. They go. You've got, you know, uh, guys like Patrick Jones, Armand Watts. You know, the Vikings are bringing what looks like five. Uh, it looks like five here. So you got Harrison Phillips kind of being that quarterback spy, which, I mean, if it works, go ahead. Uh, but you got guys, you know, um, honestly, you know, Patrick Jones and all them really showed a lot. But Harrison, but Harrison Phillips is right here, makes a great play. He gets pushed up in the pocket. I believe it's Stidham. Um, yeah, it's Stidham who steps up in the pocket here, tries to escape, and then Harrison Phillips comes off for the peel block, uh, off the peel off block there, and makes a great play. We'll watch it in full time real quick. Uh, yes, just love it. Makes a great play here. You know, I, I think he did the best of both worlds, and that is uh, being able to make a play there. So uh, we'll go over here. This was, uh, you know, a, a courtesy of Billy M. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this in real time. So I want you to take a look at Harrison Phillips right here in the middle here. Uh, yes, I think this was kind of one of those plays where, you know, it's a run play. It looks like in the I formation. Uh, and I think it's a, it's pretty much, uh, it's not, a, I was going to say a dive. It's not a dive. Uh, you know, you're in the I formation, but you got a fullback leading the way here. Um, or, a, or excuse me, a tight end. You've got him taking on Troy Dye in the hole here. Uh, and it, it, this actually looks pretty good. If these two guys, I believe that is, uh, is that Lester Cotton Sr. and then Andre James, if they can uh, if they can seal that off, they're in a really good spot here because if they can seal this off, you've got Zamir White just right up the middle going against uh, a safety. Uh, I believe that's going to be Cameron Bynum or somebody else coming in from the middle. So they got this really locked up. Well, but Harrison Phillips splits the double team, just makes a fantastic play. This is what they get paid the big bucks for taking on double teams making things happen here boom you're not going to take me down oh give me that give me that give me that big big man energy i love it uh just love it and this is exactly what the vikings wanted when they brought in harrison phillips you know a guy that he, it's not going to be pretty in some of the things that he does but what he is going to do is bring a guy a lunch pail you know midwest type you know a uh, meat and potatoes kind, kind of guy uh, to steal a line i'm sorry from the purple for the win podcast but we love their show by the way watch it every day but um you know he's a guy that's going to come in every day give it his all and i think i actually think he might be able to provide a little bit of something as far as a pass rush too because we saw it. We saw Patrick Jones get in there. We saw guys like Armand Watts get a sack because of Patrick Jones and the, his ability uh, that he showed off as well. But, you know, with all these, with all the pressure, what, what I love about the 3-4 and all these different looks that the Vikings are doing, you don't know who's coming. So what does that mean? That means all these different guys are going to come in potentially from different spots. They're going to create pressure. They're going to do a lot of different things. And sometimes that leaves Harrison Phillips on a one-on-one -on -one with a center. I'm not trying to be overly obvious here, but Harrison Phillips against pretty much any center in the NFL, 
pretty comfortable with that matchup. Pretty much anybody, uh, especially if it's Gary Bradbury, by the way. But overall, I, I just feel like this is uh, a match made in heaven. Uh, Harrison Phillips is that uh, that guy that we all are already, I know, going to know and love. And he's just a guy that I honestly think, I think he's going to set the tone up front for the Vikings. And I think he was just just what the minnesota vikings ordered but let us know what you guys think make sure you guys like and subscribe down below leave a like and a comment it helps people find the show we greatly appreciate all the support that we've gotten and continue to get you guys are all truthfully awesome we love every single one of you down in the description below you'll find all of our social media platforms so give us a like and a follow there also remember to give us a listen and sub on itunes and finally if you have anything else you'd like us to cover, send us an email at thesportsbp at yahoo.com or put in the comment section down below and we would love to cover. But let us know what you guys think about Harrison Phillips being just, just what the Minnesota Vikings ordered.